Hello and welcome to another video from filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description to my website, which you're looking at right now, where you can search through all my videos. Uh, I have lots of them. Be sure to check them out. Uh, we're also going to be looking at uh, my Doom Z script examples. Today we're going to be looking at two examples, replace textures and uh, texture change textures too. Uh, I don't know why I named them different things. I might rearrange those, but download this and we're going to start off with this one, which is very simple. Then we're going to get a little more complex. We're, we're actually going to be changing textures in existing levels with a script. Uh, I believe when I was looking through this, that there was a way to do, to change textures, uh, replace textures, uh, with the map info file by itself, but we're doing it with code because it gives you a little more flexibility here. So just to start off, I'm in a directory here, which has uh, a custom map. It has our default Z script script, which if I show you what's in it, as always, it just says the script version It's saying load this file, which is right here. And then we have a map info file. We'll talk about all that in a minute. Let's go ahead and just load up that level right now with that's not going to do anything. So this is the, the little custom level I made. It's just a room with some walls and the walls all have these textures. Now remember in Doom there's upper, lower, and middle. So you can see I can walk through this because I, I add some middle texture there just as an example. You can see uh, I can't on this one. So we have upper, lower, and middle. Remember that when it comes to walls textures. Let's go ahead and I'm using Vim as my text editor, NeoVim technically, uh, but use whatever texture you like. We're gonna do change textures. And in here, I already have some code, uh, but I have the main part of it commented out. There we go. What are we doing here? Okay, so in all my example codes, uh, I try to put links to helpful information, documentation. So if we click on here, you can come here and it'll give you more information on this function, replace textures. So if you want the documentation, there it's there. They have example, which is uh, pretty similar to what uh, I have here. Uh, but we're going to create a class. It's an event handler. If you remember event handler, this is a class, this is a, a functions that are going to run, but we need to tell Doom to run them. So the way we do that, we create the class, we give it a name. I'm calling it change textures, okay? And it is an event handler. Uh, so to get this to run, we need to create a file called map info and in there in game info we say event handlers equals and give it the name that we gave it in the other file. And that's just so that Doom knows to run it. Otherwise, it wouldn't know to run this class and these functions. So in this class, we have a function here. We're, create, we're saying world load. This is whatever we put in here is going to happen whenever a level loads. When the world loads, it's going to run. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to look at the level. So level just means the current map you're in. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna run the function, replace textures. And then we give it a texture, which is the starting texture. And then what we want to change it to. And do we wanna change all of them? Okay, we're gonna change all of them, except for not the bottom ones. Okay, so middle and upper should be changed. Now that we have uncommented that, we will tell GZ Doom 2 again, what file? Well, instead of giving a file, we're saying look at the current directory, Doom 2 and warp to map one. And we're gonna go in there and you can see that it replaced all those stone, was it stone one textures with the uh, cement one texture, except for the bottom one there. So the upper and middle are changed, but not the lower one. Uh, so if we were to go back into here and I'm about to try something I haven't tested yet, but I'm pretty sure if I was to just erase this, we're just saying uh, stone two to cement one. Now, if I was to run this without that parameter at the end, I get an error. So let's look, I actually have notes in here. And you can see not bottom, not middle, not top, not floor, not ceiling, not wall, not flat. Uh, so let's also look at the documentation here. And it gives us a little more information here. And you can see all those, uh, that information I copied and pasted into the text so you know. And it also tells you you can ha add separators. Uh, so we can say nuts. There's, I'm not sure what the option for all is. Uh, I'm just now realizing that as I'm recording this video. Uh, but for right now, let's just go ahead and say uh, not ceiling. So I can come in here and I can say comma not ceiling. We will run this code now. We should have it on upper, middle, and lower. Of course, I type, oh, <laughs> and I'm glad I made that mistake. We'll point out, even says here, because the flags are inside the text man struct, you need to add text man as a prefix, which I did before I deleted it. So we'll go back into here. It's fun making mistakes in videos because it helps you remember, I hope. So we're saying text man dot not ceiling. So now I will run that map again. 
And now upper, lower and middle all have been changed as long as they are stone too. So you can play around with that some and hope that gets you started. We are going to get a little more complex here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my maps directory. So now if I start the game, my code's still going to run, but it's going to load up the default map one. We are going to change all the textures randomly using code. So let's go ahead. And if we go to my example projects, this is uh, right now called change textures two, uh, and we can look at our code here. I'm going ahead and copy this. I'm going to go into my code here and I'm just going to delete all of this and walk you guys through the code that's in the example. Actually, let's go ahead and run it just so you can see what it does. So you have it in your mind when we're starting. So we're starting up this, but you can see all the textures have been changed. Uh, let's go ahead and run it again. And as we run it, you can see that they are changing uh, two different textures, but I have a, a list of textures they changed to. But you can see there's a switch there now. So every time the level loads, there's a set of textures that are going to change. Let's go ahead and look at what those are. And I apparently have uh, a console printout there. So here uh, we are creating some variables. So again, we still have our event handler called change, change textures. textures. Uh, here we're saying some variables for top, middle, bottom. We're saying to uh, that they're for middle is going to be, I'm oh, sorry, for for front or back, we have zero or one. So anytime where you see the, these words written, you could just put in these numbers, but this makes it a little bit clearer, especially people who aren't familiar with what's going on. Oh, okay. Obviously we're changing the middle texture or the bottom texture. So here, what we're going to do next is we're going to create an array. It's a string of array, uh, array of strings, and it's we're going to call it textures. Next, we're going to create a string, and we're getting a texture list. So here, we've created an array and a string. We haven't assigned anything to them yet. Inside the world load event, when the world loads, we're going to create this. Uh, we're going to take our texture list, and I just put in a bunch of Doom 2 textures that I copied and pasted from a list of Doom 2 textures. And so right now it's just one big long string, but then we're going to take that string and we're going to split it. We're going to split the textures by commas. I'm sorry. And we're going to split that and we're going to put it into the array of textures. So we have our texture list, which is just these words, which are the names of textures. We're going to split those everywhere. There's a comma. We're going to split those up and put it into an array. An array is a list of things basically that we have called textures. We created up here and now we're putting in them there. Next, we're going to loop through every line on the level. So a line is what a wall is called in Doom. So we're saying, look at the level, look at all the lines, look at all the walls, get the size. That's how many walls there are. So we're going to say, create I, it's set to zero. As long as I is less than the number of lines in the level, each loop add one to it. So we're going to go zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, next we're going to create a random number based on the texture array. So we're going to create a variable called R. That R is going to be a number. It's going to be a random number between zero and the texture size. So texture size is the number of textures in here. So we can add or remove textures from here and it will adjust that number minus one because we don't want it to go past the number of textures in there. Uh, next, we're going to say, okay, we're going to look at level lines. So again, we're looping through. And again, we're getting a little more complex. If you've done a lot of programming before, this is going to make sense to you. If you haven't done a lot of programming, this might be a little confusing. I'm trying to break it down and simplifying it. So again, this is a for loop right here. It's looping over and over again through for every single wall. We're going to look at it and we're going to set I to that number. So the first wall is wall zero, then wall one, wall two, wall three, wall four, wall five, wall six, all the way through to however many walls there are. Those are the lines, the walls are lines. Here we're saying, look at the level, look at line, whatever line we're on. So I is whatever line we're on. We're going to set uh, its sides. So here we're using that variable uh, for modifying the front side. Then here we're saying the texture, okay? And what texture are we gonna change? Well, we're gonna change in this case, the top texture. And then we're gonna change the um, texture to what? 
we're going to use Textman. We're going to say texture for texture. And then we're going to say, look at the list of textures. This is saying load this texture. Which texture? Texture from that list of textures, R. R is our random number. That's going to give us a random texture from that list. We're going to do that for the tops and bottoms. Okay, and then down here, we're doing the same thing, but we're looking at each sector and we're going to change the texture for the floor and the ceiling. Um, but I'm not changing to something random. I'm changing all the floors to either metal six, or I'm saying changing all the floors to metal six and the ceilings to pipe one. Let's go ahead and turn off the console here. I just had that there for testing things. Now notice that we are only changing the tops and bottoms here. I have commented out where we change the middle. We will uncomment that in the middle. So let's go ahead and look at this again. So you'll notice that a lot of the wall textures aren't changing because those are the middle wall textures. Okay, but uh, we have the floor and ceilings are all changing to the same floors and ceilings. But anywhere there's a top or bottom, we're getting a random texture from this. You can see that that step is different than that step on that side for each one of these. Okay, so it's picking from the list and up there, if we start again, you'll see above that doorway, it's now a different texture and same thing. So why didn't I change it so all the middle textures change? So basically these outside walls that don't have tops and bottoms. Well, I, I did originally and you could do this and add an extra check to see if there is a texture there or not. But the problem with just saying override all the middle textures is middle textures are everywhere. So now that we do this, you can't see through, everything's a, 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 like a hidden wall, depending on what side you're on, the front or back. So that looks like a wall there, but we can walk through it. If we turn around at certain walls, like this one here, we can see through, oh, there's actually two walls there. So it can get a little uh, funky in here. Now, again, you can add to your code to check, and maybe I'll do a future video on this, to check, okay, is that middle wall, does it have a texture? If not, then leave it blank. If it does have a texture, then change it. Uh, so again, these videos, I'm trying to simplify things. That's why I did the first example, very simple. Then we got a little more advanced after that. So hopefully you understand the basic concept. If you've done programming for any time, you understand for loops, you understand arrays, and that we're splitting things up and checking things. If you're new to programming, like you're just jumping into Zscript without other, knowing other programming, I hope I broke it down for you simple enough. Um, but take this code from my GitLab page, right? So you're gonna come to uh, this project, which again, there's a link in the description of the video. You're gonna say code, and you can just download a zip file if that's easiest for you. Unzip it, then move into one of those directories, in this case, you know, either the replace textures or the change textures too. And once you're in there, at your in your terminal at the uh, shell, you're just gonna run gzdoom-file dot. So once you're inside the example code, it will run it with that example so you can play around and then just go in. And like I said in the previous video, change some of the, what you think might happen here, like change middle to top or top to middle or and anywhere there's a number, maybe change the number. Um, change the numbers in here might not be that great because you'll go, this has to be zero or one or two. Uh, otherwise you're gonna go out of range. But here you can try reducing this down, remove a lot of these uh, textures and see what happens or add more textures. Play around with it, see what happens. Maybe remove, you know, if it looks confusing, remove this one. So now you're only looking at walls and not floors or ceilings. Again, trying to keep these tutorials simple. That's why I'm simplifying a lot of the codes. I hope this one wasn't too complex, but hopefully that first example, again, which was under examples here, replace textures, and we look at this. I mean, really, this is all the code. The rest is just notes. It's this main part here, which is look at the level, replace all textures that are named stone two to cement one. And you can do that. You can look through uh, levels and see what all their textures are. And you can do that. And, and here we're saying not bottom, but you can change it so that it's not uh, you know, a flat so, or a wall or a top or a middle or a bottom, whatever you want. Thanks for watching. Filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. I hope that you have a great day.